Eric Mothers, mother.com with a weekend market analysis for the weekend of January 5th and January 6th, 2019 with about 18 minutes to go before the close of the first trading week for 2019. Let's take a look at the charts. We begin with the S&P 500 weekly chart. But before we do, let's take a look at the Dow here. You can see the Dow for the day up about 700 and change for the day after gapping up this morning. This is the exact opposite of what happened yesterday where the Dow gapped down. And in gapping down, it was down about 660 points. So we have this massive volatility that has taken place over the last couple of weeks, especially if you consider this movement over the last one or two weeks. Very volatile sessions, which is confusing traders. And today, no different. We have a massive gap up and a move higher, up about 3%, pretty much undoing exactly what was the exact opposite of yesterday's move down about 2.5 percent or more on the dow so very volatile session let's take a look at the chart again begin with the s p 500 weekly chart where we can see the market is working on week number two of back-to-back -back gains after recording this low here on a weekly basis keep in mind we also held above rsi 30.9 which is setting the stage for what has been two weeks of recovery. So as long as the market bounced off the 30.9 level, there is a chance that this becomes as low as the market goes for now. Keep in mind, we also discussed this le level here on the S&P 500, which was instrumental coming off the lows of early 2016. The RSI movement there was good enough for this recovery move that lasted a couple years here and now what we are trying to do is hold above that line with uniform action just like we did here for short-term weekly lows we bounced on the same line here for short-term weekly lows there we ended up breaking below the line here which led to this massive two-week drop and now we are trying to recapture the level above the blue line. So in the short term, this is the challenge for the S&P 500. If it can find its way above that line, then the recent recovery attempt continues. And at the same time, failure to hold above the blue line week to week and coiling down, confirming resistance would suggest that we are going to have to test recent weekly closing lows. Now, as far as upside momentum is concerned, what we do understand from the MACD is that as long as both MACDs are trading below zero, what that tends to suggest is that we are not in an upward momentum phase of the market. And at best, I still suspect that this market has a lot of volatility, either sideways or down. And that is why, even though the market is moving higher, we have to be careful here because the MACTs have not confirmed any type of strength. And because of the, where the MACTs are trading, it makes more sense that the market continues to be shaky and at best might end up being volatile for a couple of weeks, a couple of months. In other words, what the MACTs are suggesting that at best we might be stuck in this phase, if not lower, as long as the MACDs continue being below zero. On a day-to-day -day basis, after Friday's huge gain, I'll draw a couple of lines here that might suggest around here the market is going to have some decision to make. In other words, this might be an area of potential resistance or an area of challenge that the market needs to clear. The first level of potential resistance is this backtest failure line here. You can see that this line broke down here for a massive sell signal in the short term 
and now we are back to test that level failure to move above this level suggests that more than likely the market finds it challenging and will have to test recent lows either this low or this low there's another line that we can draw with the same conclusion which is the previous break level on the RSI do it like that and what this gives us is this break point of that level and we can draw our potential resistance line which is exactly where we are trading so if the market is to move higher based on this line it would need to clear and move above the red line confirmation of resistance on that line would suggest that the next meaningful day-to-day -day direction is down and we can also look at another line which is top side resistance line and I'll draw it like this and so we are again being forced or forcing the market here to make a decision whether it has enough energy to clear and move above this line failure to do so again we see that this is where all these lines are projecting possibility of resistance around current levels and a pullback so if we bring back the other lines you can see the back test line and we can see the failure point line all of them converging exactly where the market is trading which leads me to suspect that more than likely around here the market is going to struggle and pull back and if it clears that level then of course we can anticipate continuation of the recent move higher let's not forget that the market has a lot of work to do because net net we are still looking at a market that has declining moving averages in, in the way of the 50-day moving average and a declining 200-day moving average which suggests that net net we are still looking at a market that has a bias to the downside even after massive moves to the upside because of this downward sloping 50 and 200-day moving average if we take a look at the two hourly to be consistent with the weekly and daily RSI levels we looked at we can see that there was a break of this line here which gave us this high and a pullback we can draw a line like that and what this gives us is once we broke back below the red line coinciding with that movement the market was a sell and now here we are again and we can see clearly on the two hourly for the S&P 500 that resistance on this line would suggest that the next meaningful direction hour to hour is down and at the same time movement above this line will be good enough for continuation of the recent move the way things are setting right now looks like we are more than likely looking at short-term resistance after the 750 point gain on Friday for the Dow that concludes the free portion of this video the rest of the video is for paid moade.com subscribers do enjoy the rest of your weekend otherwise for subscribers let's continue on <music>